Hi, I'm Christine Zernheld from the Marketing O'Clock podcast. Did you know that Google Ads can create automated assets for your ads on your behalf that will show live in the SERPs? Well, they can, and today I'm gonna to show you how to check those settings and turn them off. So there's actually two types of automated assets in Google Ads. It's really, really confusing. The first type is at the account level, so I'll show you how to find those first. So from the account level, you're gonna to go to Ads and Assets, and then press assets here. And then you're gonna press these three little conveniently almost hidden dots for more. And then you're gonna press account level automated assets. And from here, you'll be able to see if any assets are showing to in your account and performance metrics for those. If you wanna turn them off, you have to find another hidden more button all the way here at the right and press advanced settings. <laughs> So from this page, you're gonna see the settings for automatically created assets at the account level. And these are the assets that Google Ads used to call ad extensions, and I think that makes a lot more sense. This is information that you, the advertiser, can add to your ads, add to your ads. It's great because it takes up more real estate in the SERPs, it gives you more characters, and it can give the user relevant information about your business. So some examples are site links. They're calling these dynamic site link assets. You might know them as dynamic site link extensions, call outs, structured snippet, snippets, seller rating, longer headlines. They can actually change your headlines in your ad copy, and they can be longer than 30 characters automated apps, automated locations, dynamic images, dynamic business names, and dynamic business logo. So all of these things without the dynamic part, I think can be a great thing. For example, dynamic site links. These can send people to another page on your website that could be relevant for the user, and they're a great option to add to your account. However, I don't want Google Ads sending people to random landing pages on my website that I don't know about. So that's an example of one that I would definitely want to turn off. I really turn all of these off. Um, dynamic business logos, you can add your own. Dynamic business names, you can add your own. Again, you want assets in your account, but you do not want them automatically generated for the most part. Um, so this is where you can check all these settings and make sure they're turned off. And they're always going to recommend that you turn them on. Surprise, surprise. There is another type of automated asset in Google Ads. Again, it has the same name, but this one is at the campaign level and it works a little differently. So if you want to navigate to a specific campaign, we're going to look for an old search campaign here in our Marketing O'Clock account because we don't have any search running right now. And we're going to go to our settings. There is a setting in here for automatically created assets. But this means asset like headline and description. It says you can allow Google to help you generate headlines and descriptions for your ads using your content from your landing page, domain, and ads. So if this is something that you wanna turn off, you don't want Google to be dynamically generating those headlines and descriptions, you can turn this one off and you have to do it at the campaign level. It is not gonna work for your whole account. So again, these are two different types of automatic assets. Um, you can turn them off in different ways. It is pretty easy if you know how to look for them, but it's just something that you're gonna want to go in and check, particularly that formerly extension type of asset. Um, I know they're always adding new things in there and I always want to go back and double check that they're all turned off. If this video was helpful for you, we have a lot of great content and tutorials like this over on our YouTube channel and we create new podcast episodes with the news of the week every Friday, rain or shine, marketing o'clock, wherever you listen to podcasts or youtube.marketingoclock.com. We'll see you there.